Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at this HYC 1600E electric chainsaw. So I've laid the contents of the packaging out on the table for you to see. First of all, we've got the chainsaw itself with its power lead. Then we have the chain bar and the bar cover. We have the chain itself and the user manual. Now I do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use. So that's the contents of your packaging. So we're going to need to do a little bit of assembly first. We're going to have to fit the bar and chain to the chainsaw. So the first thing we'll do is to remove this cover by turning the hand wheel anti-clockwise and we can remove the side cover putting it out of the way for the time being. And I'll just put the chainsaw over onto its back so you can see what I'm doing. So because I'm going to be handling the chain I put a pair of gloves on. Now the bar has a metal bracket here and that's going to go on the outside when we fit it. So the first thing we need to do is to get the chain the correct way around. So if I just lay the chain out here, I'll actually demonstrate by putting it back to front. There's a little picture here, I'll bring you in a bit closer. So there's a little picture here showing one of the chain links, the cutting links. And as you can see, it's got the small part facing forward and the large part facing backwards. So my chain here is actually the wrong way round. So if I turn the chain over the other way, turning it 180 degrees, you can see the shape of the cutting link in the chain is exactly the same shape as the little picture on the bar. So this would be the correct way round and this is the way we'll keep it when we fit it. So keeping the chain the same way as we just showed, first thing I'm going to do is hook it round the back of the little pulley, as you can see here. Then I'll take the bar and start inserting the chain into the groove around the end of the bar. So yeah, I'm just going to insert the chain into the groove on the end and then start feeding the chain into the long slots on the side of the bar all the way down. Just keeping a little tension in this direction as I do it. And there we are. It's all in position, ready to accept the cover. So I'll just locate the cover now, back into its position. Do up the little hand wheel. I'm not going tight at this stage. Just until it becomes firm. And that's the first stage of fitting the chain. So you'll see I've got the nose of the bar on this piece of wood and I'll finally tighten up the last few turns and as I rotate the hand wheel the bar comes out and tensions the chain to its correct setting. So there we are, that's the chain set to the correct tension. Now you will find that during the first few minutes and hours of use that the chain becomes slack. This is quite normal and it's simply a result of the chain stretching during its initial period of use. So to retension that chain, we'll undo the hand wheel. This allows the bar to move again. We'll just tighten the hand wheel back up. This again pushes the bar forward, tensioning the chain. Once it's at the right tension, the hand wheel will then clamp the bar into position and that's the chain retensioned. Your chainsaw has a built-in strain reliever for the cable here, so we're not pulling on the cable coming into the machine. So if we take a loop of the cable, feed it through the hole in the back of the handle, over this little clasp, pull on the wire, and that's it. Strain is relieved from this grommet. So once you've gone through all of these steps, to run the chainsaw, I'll just pop the guard off, You'll see a button and the trigger. You need to push the button and pull the trigger to start the chainsaw. Obviously, we need to turn the brake off, or to have the brake here in the on position, which is back. And then when we push the button, pull the trigger, the it will run. When you finish using it, always push the little handle on the front off. So from that second or two of use, you can see the transport oil that was on the chain has spattered on the bench here. 
Uh, this is a good sign that the lubrication is working during use. It's a good test. So you can tell if your tank has run out without looking at the glass. If you don't see these spatters on a regular basis when you're running the machine, then you need to refill your chain lube tank. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and thanks for watching.